What is going on guys and welcome back to another player review. We are going to be looking at the legend Okosha and he is um, basically quite expensive which is expected for a legend. He goes for over 2 million coins. Now is he worth it? That's what many of you want to find out. The ones that could afford him of course. So if you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get you coins, check out battlelay.com. Their link will be in the description and use the code ETANI to get 5% off. If you're looking for PSN cards or Microsoft points for the big team of the week tomorrow, check out G2A. Their link will also be in the description and use the code ETANI for a discount. Now JJ, oh man, this guy, I really wanted him to be good because just like how he was in real life, he was a really nice player to watch. Now, when it came down to playing with him in FIFA, it's sort of a different story. So let's begin with his pros. Long shots, you'll see a really nice long shot I scored with him. The goalkeeper had no chance, but bring him closer to the goal. His finishing really plays a big part and it is quite bad and inconsistent. So sometimes you'll find him scoring you some nice uh, shots in the penalty area. But a lot of the time and most of the time for me personally, I found him losing a lot of opportunities. He seemed to be very unreliable in the penalty area. I played him as a centre attacking midfielder and Zola seemed to be assisting my strikers more and scoring me more goals. Instead of this guy who has a five star or who has five star skills and four star weak foot, so with the skill moves you'll see me getting past defenders very easy, past the whole team. But in the final third, I just can't finish with him most of the time. So as you guys know, in FIFA it is so easy to finish, but with certain players it doesn't seem to be that easy. Now he has decent passing. He did assist George Way and hurt it a couple of times. But I mean, I expected a lot more from someone that cost 2 million plus. Seriously, dribbling past the whole team, you can easily do that with him as well. He has decent pace, but sometimes, even though with that 5 star skills, I would get past players and they could just run and catch me very easily. So, it wouldn't have been much of a problem if he wasn't so fucking weak as well. So, as soon as a defender comes and tries to bodge off the ball, instantly he's gone. So, I found Pele stronger than this guy, but this guy was just uh, a, lot of, a lot of problems with him. He did not feel like a legend at all, inconsistent in matches, so some matches he might be okay. You might be thinking, oh, maybe I'm trying this guy uh, wrong. So, next match comes along and you're like, where the, f where the fuck is he? Positioning wise, you won't find him anywhere when you need him um, a lot of the time. So with medium, uh, I think he had medium attacking and low defending. So it, his positioning shouldn't have been much of a problem, but for me it was. Finishing, positioning, he did not feel like a legend, inconsistent and weak. I don't even know why you would buy this guy for 2 million plus. You could say I tried him wrong, but... Seriously, I have tried other 5 star skillers, I have tried so many different legends and they're a lot better than this one right here. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did I'd really appreciate a like. What I recommend you do is forget about this guy even existing in Ultimate Team and try someone else. Hope you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comment section below who would you like me to review next. Okasha gets a... On, <laughs> he gets a 6.9 out of 10.